So the next level is Protostars deck 1. Um, we have uh, in this level, at this level, looks at the concept of modifying variable to a specific value in a program and how the variables are laid out in a memory. So at the first, as um, stack 0, we had to change um, a variable. In this level, we have to change a, vari uh, a variable to a specific um, value. So it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty similar to the stack 0 level. We have a modified variable, a buffer, which is 64 bytes. Um, this is um, a usage if, so if we don't do it correctly, they will tell us how to uh, do it. Uh, modified gets set to zero and we string copy um, our argument we provide to buffer. And it checks if modified value is, uh, is hex 61, 62, 63, 64. Then it prints out you have correctly got the variable to the right value, and otherwise it prints out you try again you got or try again you got something else, and prints out the modified variable. Let's check out this level. So at dot slash stack one. There's the usage. Please specify an argument. So we specify something. Try again. You got zero 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 zero. Let's provide more. Again. Let's provide even more. So you got something else. So we got um, 7, 3, 61, 66, 64. Um, but we need this. How do we do it? In the first level we saw that we um, overflowed the buffer variable um, and changed the modified variable. So we can use the same overflow technique as in the, fir uh, in the stack 0 level. So we overflow it by 64 and provide um, this hex string for uh, after the 64 bytes. So we change modified to this value. So let's try it in Python again. I will use Python for this too. So we will print out um, ace. Uh, let's tr print out ace 64 times. And afterwards, we will print. Uh, we will print a b. Oops. Uh, print. I forgot. Plus. So like this. So now we provide this, and our value. The our uh, modified value should be b. Uh, and now, oops, should be b. It's right, 42 is B. So what we have to do now is we sh have to provide B after, uh, uh, instead of providing it B, we have to provide this string. How do we do it? We will print out 64 A's again. Uh, what we print here is irrelevant. It's We can print out whatever you want. Um, now we will provide something other. We will provide this string. Here's interesting uh, hint that protostar is little endian, so um, it reads the address from behind. It's 64, 63, 62, 61, and 61, 62, 63, 64. So we will provide a hex string here. In Python, you provide a hex string by backslash x and the string and the hex number at 64, x 63, x 62 x61. So now we have something like this. There you can see that 64, 63 and so on is DCBA. Uh, we can provide this. Oops, this too. And now we have successfully overwrite the value. Um, if you don't want to use Python on the other hand, you can use it like this too. So we stack one, then we write a little Python script um, after stack one. So now we are going. So the dollar sign for a comment, a comment in, uh, in Bresnes. Then we have Python minus C to compile it. Then we compile the following. So we compile 
print. Yeah, let's do it like this so I don't forget. So um, we provide a script here. We provide a Python script. We will compile it. And then we will provide what we compile. We compile a print of ace 46 times. Oops, my mistake. Not a plus, 46 times like we did already on the right hand side and afterwards we will provide this string so um, I will copy it because I don't want to type it again and we close everything now we got, uh, we've done the exact same thing but that's uh, uh, pretty fast in my opinion because you don't have to switch the windows all the time and you can um, change the value here all, all uh, the time. So now we have successfully solved stack 1. Thanks for watching.